Hi, Reed. It's a great pleasure to meet you. Um, you're, I've question. enjoyed listening to your responses to the earlier questions and your passion and excitement about AI is contagious. Um, so uh, I'm, a, I'm a visual artist, and I understand how to use paint and charcoal and sculpture, photography to elicit emotional and even physical responses in a viewer. But given that AI is largely non-material, I'd like to learn about ways I can deploy AI as a medium rather than simply as a tool. As a builder of AI, do you think this technology could soon be used creatively to expand the human experience of art? Great question. And I think the answer is ca uh, categorically yes. Um, you know, I'd be interested, I mean, you know, you, this is an area of expertise, so I'd be interested in an in, in exploration, um, which is if you already go to things like Dolly 3, and you say, give me some responses or even uh, like upload like a picture of something you've done, paint, charcoal, sculpture, photography, and like give me some responses or how would this blend with, you know, a silver daguerreotype or, you know, or other kinds of things kind of much more tactile. I actually think it might even have something in a loop where you are the person creating the materiality but it is an assistant to you, you know, uh, it's something that you're deploying. To give you a music counterexample, or parallel example, not counterexample, when I was talking to some musicians, I said, look, there's going to be AI tools that can say, you, we've seen the John Lennon thing from Paul McCarthy recently, they could say, you know, I'm Will I Am, give me a original Will I Am song. And it will do that. And they go, well, shit, do I get replaced? Like, no. Because when you're prompting it, you go, ooh, that bit at second five to 10, that's really good. And that bit at one minute and 10 to one minute 35, that's really good. I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to use that. And I'm going to reiterate for it. That's the kind of tool that it might actually even help in your physical materiality. If that kind of loop and use is something that, you know, I suspect there's a there there, where it is and how it is, you're more the expert than I am in order to make that happen. Now, I do think also that AI can um, broaden the experience of art from the experiencer side in a lot of ways too. Because let's take a parallel for what's going on in kind of the business world. I get a report and I don't have time to read the report and I feed the PDF into um, you know, an AI summarizer and say, give me a summary, <laughs> right? Now, say I'm looking at a piece of art and I go, I don't fully know like how to fully understand this. Uh, it says, well, okay, so here's some of the history of it. Here's the artist. Do you have a question? Can I ask the question? This is the, the sense of, of kind of what we're trying to do in this experience or this is the community it's embedded in. And so it can make the ability to explore a piece of art much richer because, again, just like having a personal assistant there, the personal assistant can bring stuff. And if you're worried that, because by the way, the personal assistant, if you just take GBT, it's going to do what it's going to do. You could do meta prompting or other kinds of things around it to help it shape where you would want the dialogue around the piece of art to be, um, to also be part of the artistic experience. And so that's also, I think, something to be done. And these are just off-the-cuff ideas. I think artists such as yourself and other people will figure out 20 things that are brighter than the things that I just said, but those are some kind of, you know, initial gestures, you know, kind of a flashlight beam of light. Yeah, that's that's really amazing and really great to think about. In one of your earlier responses, you you talked about AI expanding, you know, language, right? Like complicating language. And I think, uh, you know, when, when we when we think about art as language, there's a there's a really natural collaboration that happens um, between what the technology can do and making it conversant with the experience of art. Yes, exactly. And and getting more people into art because you know again it's that kind of like like how do I begin to experience it? How do I <clears throat> like am I just supposed to like it? Like it pleases pleases my senses, or is it supposed to like teach me something or? Or, or how do I engage? Like people obviously frequently say, engage in a dialogue with it. Well, most people don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. So enabling those kind of training wheels and first steps to doing that, and language is how we 
you know, most often interface with each other. So language enables that, the, the first steps on my path. Thank you. Thank you. This is Masters of Scale. Hey, bye.